In this video, I want to show you how to set up your very own product for sale right within JVZoo. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Once you've logged in to JVZoo, you'll need to go over to the Sellers tab and then go ahead and go to the Sellers dashboard, just like this. And once you've done that, you'll see this page here where you'll see any previous products that you may have set up. If you haven't set up any, you won't see anything. So to get started, we'll need to go ahead and go to Add a Product right up here, this button right here and then we'll see this page here. Now, it may look like a lot is going on, but it's not, it really is simple to do. So let's start over here, okay? We start with the basic information and we can choose whether or not to allow sales or not to allow sales for our product, okay? Now, this is helpful if you have a time limited setup or if you want it to launch at a certain date and time, as you can see right here. So the basic or the most simplest way to do it is just to go ahead and click on yes or to come in once your product launches and to click on yes it's totally up to you how you want to do it you can also choose to show it in the marketplace or not to show it in the marketplace and as you can see as i'm hovering my mouse over this i'm getting a little pop-up that shows me about that button okay so i'm going to go ahead and click on yes okay now as you can see when we click on no look at what happens over here okay this changes over here which we'll get into in a moment all right so let's go down and next we need to give it a product name. So we can just put in a facetious name right here. We'll need to choose our currency, okay? Which mine is gonna be US dollar and then a product price. So you'll wanna put that in and then if you're going to allow affiliates to promote it, you'll need to put in the commission percentage payout as well. So I'll go ahead and put in 50% and if it's a subscription or multiple payments, you'll need to click on that and you'll see this little box pop up here we'll go ahead and click on that and then we can say okay a payment period is every two months or number of payments 10 payments or something like that commission payout at the first payment is 50 percent and then we can also choose to offer a trial which if we did that we can click on yes and let's say our trial price may be one dollar and our trial length may be 30 days and the commission on the payout of the trial may be say a hundred percent okay so that's how we will input that information i'm going to go ahead and just leave this as is and then we'll come down and choose the quantity which if we want to sell an unlimited amount we would go ahead and leave that empty let's say if it was only for 100 people we would put that in there we would put in our support email address just like this and our support url just like that, okay? And if we're doing a pre-launch or we have a squeeze page, we would wanna put that in here, just like that. And then if we wanna send all the traffic to the sales page after the launch date and time, we would go ahead and select yes, like this, and whatever our launch date and time is here, it will automatically start sending it to our sales page after that time that we've set up here for our launch date. Now we'll need to put in our sales page right here, just like this. Okay, and we can also choose to pass the affiliate ID to the sales page if they've sent traffic to our squeeze page or something like that. Okay, so as I said before, if you if you get confused about any of these options, go ahead and hold your mouse over these little information buttons right here and it'll tell you uh, what you need to do. Okay, next we can choose to have a protected download or we can have a thank you page. If you're going to do a protected download, you're going to be asked to upload your product on the next page okay but if you're going to do a thank you page just select that and then go ahead and put in your thank you page here and then you can also pass parameters to your download page by clicking that and then you can learn how to protect your page by clicking this link and then you can read this article here okay let's go back we can choose our return period which i like to set for 30 and then we can also choose to make our product eligible for the product of the day we can choose to have the affiliate approval where we can auto approve manual approve or not allow affiliates at all and then if we do choose to have affiliate approval we can put in our terms and requirements here it's also html able uh, any notes to affiliates as well as any custom receipt info as well where we can give our customers instructions after they ordered and we can also choose to archive the product here uh, that's later once you've set the product up and then if we go over here to the advanced features uh, we can choose our checkout options, which for most everyone is PayPal, but there are some other options under my account for payment options. Okay, we can choose for the JVZoo Marketplace. 
uh, we can choose our description for our buyers. So we can just put something in here along those lines and make it a, a great description. And then we can choose our category and then additional subcategories, which is optional, but you will need to choose a primary category. And then we'll go ahead and put in our keywords, which will help people find our product once they search in the marketplace. So we can just put in a number of keywords like this. And then if we want, if we want people to share on Facebook, we can give a discount. So let's say if I was going to give people a $5 discount for sharing on Facebook, I will put that information there. And on the order page, there's an option to share on Facebook. And once they do, they'll instantly get that $5 discount in the shopping cart. Now we can also choose to make it a dime sale and we will put our price in here which let's say if we were going to start at $7.99 and it would increase say three cent every 50 sales. Okay. Now you can watch a tutorial about dime sales by clicking this link here, but that's how the dime sales will work. And also we can choose to integrate our autoresponder where our buyers get added to our autoresponder. So we set up get response and you have a number of them in here, but I'm going to go with get response and we clicked on load defaults and our key pops up here. And then we can choose which campaign name we want to add them to. We can also choose to integrate with GoToWebinar by putting the webinar URL in here. We can also use the retargeting and conversion options, as you see here, with Facebook ad role as well as perfect audience retargeting as well. We will only need to click on these just like that and then add our script. And in doing so, you would just paste it right in there and then go ahead and click on save. And if you have any external program integration, you want to put that information right in here. So some people like to pass parameters to their membership area and things like that. So this is one way of doing that. Like some people use wishlist member and they like for JVZoo to help them automatically create the username and login. And this helps to protect from pirates and download thieves and things like that. So this is where you would do that and add any other customization that you possibly could that JVZoo would allow. Then once you're done, you wanna go down here and click on save product. Okay, and now you can see that the product was successfully saved and that is ready to be sold. And that's pretty much how you set up a product within JVZoo. That's it for this video, take care.